Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, the Legacy Collection Deadpool. So this is basically a reissue of the previous Deadpool figure that we got in the two-pack with Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Bam, it's here. It's essentially the same figure, essentially the same accessories and everything like that. It just does not have Negasonic Teenage Warhead. But there is an improvement to this figure over this figure. See these guns here on this previous release? These bad boys were glued in there. You could not remove them. Didn't come out. These guns are removable. So that is a pretty cool thing. So here we have the Legacy Collection. I'm excited to show you guys. I got mine from ToySnowman.com. They are currently listed as pre-order right now because he has more coming in. So link in the video description below for my referral link, which will give you a 5% off coupon code for first-time buyers when you create your account. So link in the video description below. I have also, let me show you guys, the Wolverine figure. This guy is in stock right now. So you can order Wolverine and he is in stock and available right now. So Deadpool, more to come. Wolverine in stock right now so looking at the legacy collection this is the brand new style packaging for all marvel legends black series and all of that are actually going to have the same packaging gi joe classified series so they can all just have a uniform packaging look and all of that deadpool logo there legacy collection we get a little deadpool with a little heart on the side we see deadpool there we got a deadpool logo there on the side and there we have deadpool so let's go ahead and get this thing out of the package and take a closer look Okay, so here's the Deadpool figure out of the package, and it is a really good one, but that's not a surprise, as it is essentially the same exact figure that we had gotten previously. So looking at it closely in terms of paint and everything like that, it is essentially the same exact figure figure nothing really different going on here so if you have the previous version do you really need this one probably not but because of you know the hand colors and things like that some hands have silver some are all black all black is how he looked in the first deadpool movie the silver uh plated uh gloves um were deadpool 2 so you can have a deadpool 1 you can have a deadpool 2 now the deadpool legacy figures do say you know based on deadpool 2 um, this is how Deadpool looked, and then the Wolverine is based on that like post-credit type scene um, there. So they are technically based off of Deadpool 2, but it could be kind of however you want it to be since it has those same accessories. So in terms of accessories, we get that unicorn, that lovely unicorn that he does things with to look at. It's funny, interesting, weird. It's all white, blue eyes, gold uh, horn uh, there. In terms of accessories, he's got the two... What are those Glocks? Those aren't Desert Eagles. Desert Eagles are a little bit bigger, right? But he has those two guns. We don't get futuristic-looking guns like that two-pack version did. Um, he has one, two, three extra set of hands. So we got trigger finger hands, which are the silver-plated gold ones. So Deadpool 2 uh, trigger finger hands. Then these like open like gesturing hands. You can put them on his face and things like that. These are all black, so these are like Deadpool 1 hands. And then we get a pair of fists. So we get silver... No, not fists. I'm sorry. These are katana holding hands. So as you can see there, the grip hands for his katanas, they are silver. And then we get fists. The fists are like Deadpool 1 hands. So um, it does kind of suck that you can't like mix and match. Or you could, but it would be a little bit weird, right? So if you had like one fist, one katana hand, but silver and black. I know some people are like, oh, Hasbro cheaped out. They didn't paint the hands again. Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2. That's that's why they look like that. So anyway, there, there we go. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Deadpool. Okay, there's an up-close look at Deadpool, and yeah, he looks great. I really like the way it looks. The sculpt work and everything on him looks really good. If anything, the red might be a little bit shinier. The The original is probably a little bit more matte. You could see it like in the black. Definitely a little bit shinier, a little bit matte. Uh, more in the previous version and that's really going to be kind of the difference the reds are essentially the same just one might be a tad bit shinier uh, but again everything else paintwork is in the, is the same but again the original one those guns that were in there I always felt they were kind of thin and they were glued in so I didn't think it was any big deal I thought it was all part of the sculpt of the holster and everything but no they were actually just glued in so the guns they just holster on the side they are pretty thin though as you can see, they're very rubbery and stuff like that. There are two of these. So I don't know if that is that a Glock Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle, I feel, is bigger, but I literally have no idea. So you guys have to let me know down in the comments below. I forgot to talk about the katanas earlier. We do get these katanas, just silver blade, black hilt. Um, and then they just sheath in his back like so. Nothing special there. Um, the hands that are there, that, like it is full grip. So you just have to slip the katanas into his hands uh, like so. And I probably have that backwards, actually. So let's turn that around. 
Uh, so you can hold the katanas like so. Nice and easy. So we're going to go ahead and sheath that back in there, right onto his back. Uh, look at the rest of the figure in case this is your first time seeing the Deadpool uh, sculpt and everything like that. We do have pinless elbows on this guy. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why at the time pinless was still pretty new, but we had pinless arms, but we didn't get pinless legs. Not really sure why that was at the time. It was kind of interesting. Uh, there are some like some cuts and scrapes and stuff in his suit and everything like that. We get some nice silver um, in the belt and some of the pouches in the front. We don't get it any in the back at all. Is that the case here? That was the case back then as well as just those first few pouches that got it. Um, and then looking at that, oh yeah, he's also got a knife, forgot, geez, I forgot to mention all of it. The knife is in there very, very tight, like, it just, it was hard to get all the way into the sheath, and then to pull it out was kind of a pain in the ass, so I'm gonna put that back in there, and it's probably never gonna come out again. Um, and then here, if anything, his feet, I feel like, might be a little bit small, in terms of trying to get him to stand up, depending on the type of surface that you're gonna get him to stand up. Uh, but the Deadpool looks pretty good. Again, essentially the same exact thing that we had gotten before. So now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at his articulation, which is really good. Okay, so Deadpool, his head and neck, or the neck is a separate piece to the torso. So it allows some movement in there um, and things like that. The head is on a dumbbell joint, so he can look up that much. He can look down that much there. You get a full rotation in that head, of course, and then you can get some crazy pivot and things going on like that because you want to do all kinds of gesturing motions with Deadpool, right? Arm goes straight on out. You get a full rotation in there. There is a butterfly joint, so you can get the arm to go back, as you can see there, and then you can do some crossbody, um, as you can see there. Uh, bicep, upper bicep swivel in there, double jointed pinless elbow. I will say the arms are kind of thin, that the elbow does look kind of ugly here it seems a little flat it's kind of weird um it's just because the arms are a bit thin and you know ryan reynolds is pretty pretty slim guy uh wrist swivel on the hinge the trigger finger hands have the vertical hinge uh the fists have the standard horizontal hinge the open hands have the standard horizontal hinge and the katana hands also have the store the the standard horizontal hinge they should have had vertical hinge but unfortunately katana hands do not get uh that hinge so that is a little bit uh difficult or a little bit tough ab crunch he can crunch forward that much which isn't too bad uh going back a little bit there but then you know the the sheets of the katana kind of get in the way and everything like that i don't know if this is going to be an issue on all of them as you can see there that looks a little chewed up i don't know if it's just because something's hitting in there or if it's just the paint work but that's just a little thing on mine uh, at the end of the day it's probably not that big of a deal as it's when he's standing up the pa the belt kind of covers it so it's not really an issue uh it looked like it was a little bit rubbed on my old one but it wasn't as bad in there we got waist swivel in there legs go out that far apart uh, he can't kick forward that far. Leg goes back actually significantly. Holy moly, I don't remember that. Look at that. Uh, most figures do not do that. That leg would not go back that far. So I don't know if I ever really remember it doing that. So that is pretty crazy. You got an upper thigh cut in there, double jointed knee. Gives you that much bend there, like so. There's no uh, boot swivel on this guy or cat or ankle swivel or anything like that, but foot hinges all the way down. You get really good motion going up. Ankle pivot peggles at the bottom of the feet. If anything, again, my biggest criticism is probably that the feet are a little small, but again, you know, he's, he's a very slim guy, so they kind of kept it that way. I just wish the feet were a little bit bigger and added a little bit more stability to him. But again, I'm on, you know, foam, foam board right there, so it also makes things a little bit difficult to get him to stand. But there is this articulation, and it is pretty good. Okay, so here we have some Deadpool comic uh, comparisons here. This is that ultra-articulated one that was the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that came with Bob, Agent of Hydra. And this is the retro-carded Deadpool um, that was the anniversary one, which is getting a re-release at some point this year. So pre-orders were up and everything like that. Um, so that is that Deadpool. So just so you guys, in case you missed it the first time, you have your chance, make sure to get in orders for this guy here as well. And then here we have the whole Deadpool 2 crew, Negasonic, Teenage Warhead, Domino, and Cable. Um, their Cable was a Walmart exclusive. Domino got a regular release, right? And then Negasonic, Teenage Warhead, of course, was in the two-pack with Deadpool. And then if we want to get all technical with it, we also had this Deadpool that released. This was like the burned up. Uh, ashy version of Deadpool. This was an Amazon exclusive that got pretty popular that 
amp that Canada actually got a bit of a re-release or I guess you know there was additional stock found so Canada got an extra opportunity to get orders in for that guy I think they're probably all sold out everywhere in Canada now uh, but those are our Deadpool 2 figures right there and as we gear up towards Deadpool and Wolverine releasing in July during Comic-Con, which is kind of crazy, we have the two Wolverine figures that we had gotten before. This was the Amazon exclusive, the Wolverine version, and then this was the regular release X-Men 2 or uh, the X-Men Origins Wolverine, if that's what you wanted to kind of do it as. Now, the next, the Legacy Collection that just came out as well is a kit bash between these two figures. So we got this body with these claws and these heads on that figure. So it's not just a reissue of that. It's not a, obviously not a reissue of this one. Um, it is a completely different figure that's very similar to this one. So that's what's cool about Wolverine. Deadpool himself, he's the same. The guns thing is a big improvement, and we have a chance to get Deadpool by himself as opposed to that two-pack with Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and you have new collectors that come in all the time. Um, so it's cool that we get that Deadpool, and it's essentially the exact same, but we get those guns. But the Wolverine figure is actually a different figure. So if you have these two Wolverine figures, and you don't need that new one, sure, you don't have to get it, because you can make your own, but for newer collectors and things, you have a chance to now get that Wolverine. I kind of like having multiple so I can have them based on each movie. You know, I used to buy extras and do multiples for however many movies they were in. I don't do that anymore, so now it just adds another Wolverine so I can put him in and slot him in somewhere. So I can have my X-Men Origins one, I can have my the Wolverine one, and then I can have a Deadpool 2 version, even if it was in that short little clip at the end post credit scene. All right, so that is my review of the Deadpool Legacy Collection figure. Awesome for new collectors that missed out on that two-pack or even collectors that have been collecting and for whatever reason missed out on that two-pack. With Deadpool and Wolverine coming out soon, it's awesome that we get some figures to kind of hype us up. Now, at the same time, I would like to get some figures for Deadpool and Wolverine, the third movie. I would like to get figures for that. I want that Hugh Jackman in the yellow and blue suit. I want the new suit that Deadpool is wearing with the brighter red and kind of the redesigned suit. I want movie figures for Deadpool and Wolverine. Are we getting movie figures for them? Yes, I believe we are. I think part of the problem is because Deadpool was originally supposed to release in November, but got bumped up to July. So are the figures going to be ready in time for the movie? I think the sad part is it's probably Probably not going to happen and that's probably why we haven't seen them yet I don't know there could be it's a could all it's all in the marketing with Disney and on when they're gonna want them revealed and everything like that right it's not a Hasbro decision it's a Disney marketing thing when can the figures be revealed hopefully soon hopefully the figures will be released around the time of the movie the unfortunate thing is Captain America Brave New World was supposed to release in July those figures have been had to have been shelved um, so that's probably why no Deadpool and Wolverine right now but again hopefully soon hopefully we'll get them because that blue and yellow Wolverine will be everything to me it will be awesome I can't wait um, but you guys let me know down in the comments below how hyped are you for Deadpool and Wolverine are you picking up this legacy collection Deadpool figure are you passing because you got the previous one because again they are the same but again you can have a Deadpool, ver Deadpool 2 version and then a Deadpool 1 version if that's something that you wanted to do so let me know down in the comments below what you think of this Deadpool figure um if you guys like the video do me a favor hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so and as always thank you for uh watching make sure to check out toysnowman.com for your marvel legends action figure needs wolverine in stock deadpool more to arrive soon